Cameras are now socially immersed in our day-to-day -day lives in the form of cell phones, pocket-sized camcorders, and wearable cameras. These cameras capture our social activities with friends and family. This video captures a girl building a snowman with her parents. Increasingly, these kinds of scenes are captured by several cameras held by other friends or family in attendance. In this paper, we present a method that automatically cuts between cameras to produce a single video that captures the activity in the scene. The core challenge lies in defining a computable measure of the content of the event and using it to define the precise succession of cameras to capture the action in the scene. We use joint attention to define the content of an event. Here, three cameras follow the girl up the hill and one remains focused on the mother. By estimating the 3D camera motion of each videographer, we can identify the area in the scene that the videographers are paying the most attention to. We use this 3D location of joint attention as a proxy for the content in the scene. In conjunction with joint attention, we use rules of cinematography to define valid cuts between cameras. The 180 degree rule prevents the camera from crossing the line of action. Here the trajectory of the snowball forms the line of action. The transition from camera A to camera B is confusing as the motion of the snowball appears to reverse. A jump cut involves a cut between nearby cameras, resulting in the appearance of jerky camera motion rather than a cut between cameras. The cut on action condition produces the impression of continuity by cutting between cameras at moments of activity. In this example, there are two distinct activities occurring within the same area. In one subgroup, a few friends are playing basketball, and just outside the court, a woman is entertaining a child. Viclone, a commercial software, appears to cut randomly between the two storylines. In contrast, our method correctly separates the two activities and shows them in succession, producing a more coherent result. In this example, a group of friends play a game of basketball. They all wear head-mounted cameras while playing. Simply cutting between cameras randomly at predefined intervals produces a video that frequently loses a view of the basketball and therefore the action. In contrast, our approach consistently selects views that coincide with the action, leveraging the fact that, in consensus, players naturally fixate on the action. Here, the 3D joint attention captures the quick break, the long pass, and the short return as well. The algorithm automatically identifies the post-basket dribbling as a good area to remove, and we fade directly into the next attack of the white team. A group plays croquet. Here we show our result next to an output that uses cuts to random cameras at fixed intervals. The 180 degree rule is immediately violated by the random cut. The precise selection of when to cut is critical to give the impression of continuous time. Our method respects the rules and times the cut precisely on the action. Our algorithm automatically chooses an appropriate level of zoom within each view to allow tight shots of the action and switches between levels of zoom to provide shot diversity. In this example, the scene has several people socializing in different subgroups. Our algorithm selects camera transitions within subgroups to maintain continuity, whereas the random cut switches abruptly across subgroups. A busker performs her fire-eating act. Our algorithm cuts between views to keep the video interesting, while avoiding jump cuts and violating the 180 degree rule. Here are two cuts side by side, one using our approach and another by a professional editor. Many of the cuts are similar. In summary, we present an algorithm that takes, as input, multiple videos captured by participants in a social activity and produces as output a single video of user specified length that cuts between multiple feeds automatically. To view the complete renderings of various stylistic options offered to the user, please refer to the additional videos.